<laughs> After you know the break, shopping in the year 2020, Anne-Marie Bigger will look to the future as she informs us of the best of this weekend's child-friendly events across the nation. So you can see. Technology and the internet are influencing the way we shop with more and more Australians buying online. Anne-Marie Bigger is at the Retail 2020 exhibition to give us a glimpse of this brave, new and rather scary world and tell us about some of the family-friendly activities this weekend. Good morning, AMB. Good morning. Good morning. I tell you, brave new world is the quote today because this is quite extraordinary. We're actually here in Melbourne and it, we are at the Retail Expo 2009, but within that expo is um, Store of the Future, basically. So 2020 is Store of the Future. And with me is Morris Misalowski. I got it right this morning. Good morning, mm -hmm. Morris. Morning, Morris. Now, Morris, Morris is what they call a futurist. I mean, and, and he is, now, and he won't be mad if I say this, but he's a fully qualified technophobe person geek. geek oh well he said geek i didn't geek okay nerd, geek nerd <laughs> all right now tell us tell us about this because we've had a quick look around this morning and the way we're going to shop in the future will be quite well i think it's quite exciting and and you guys were just asking before is it that technified that we won't get it or is it so so good that we it's so simple that we will get it? I think it's actually so simple except what we all want we really want the drudgery taken out of retail shop and we yes. want to go out and enjoy ourselves have some yes. theatre have some fun yes. and that's what this technology is going to do for us. Wow. How? So we'll be able to go into a store for instance and the store will recognise us it'll actually know who we are it'll know what our oh. shopping habits are and it'll say hey Anne-Marie I know you don't buy men's shoes very often let me show you some <laughs> women's clothes and it will guide you towards the women's clothes it'll show you the things that you might want to buy because it knows you through your PDA, through your devices you carry around. Yes. It'll know you have a pair of red shoes in your cupboard and it'll say this dress will go really well with those red shoes. Why don't I bring the red shoes in for you virtually, try on the dress in a mirror that we'll have a look at in a moment and see how the whole outfit fits together. That's extraordinary. All right, now this the dress is what, on vert yes, um, virtually. Yes, see. virtually. See, and I hate shopping. So this is oh, my yeah. kind of thing. Oh, this is. Absolutely. But, okay, Morris, we've got the Quicksilver prototype sort of thing here. We so do. you tell us so what's Aaron's going to demonstrate here. He's wearing a pair of boardies. And in the boardies, is, in the boardies are an RFID tag. Yes. You'll see that the boardies that he's oh, wearing what? actually shows up. Uh, it's, a, it's an identification tag. Radio frequency identification tag. It's what a so little, you little device. It? Yeah, yeah, no. no, well, so, no well, that's see, one it's, it's, in, it's in here. So what it does is it from this little tag here, it goes to the sensor, which is just up here above Morris's head. And what happens is it recognises it and goes, OK, and then, see, the guy on the screen's wearing the same bodies. And then it gives you a bit of a blurb about what the fabric's like, how good they are. They've got a pro surfer telling you that he's surfed at Bora Bora in them and he hasn't had any rashes, and, and you get the whole thing. Is that right? Absolutely. And you can have all kinds of things on it. So you can have he type does. information. You can have information about where the boardies were made or how they were made or who's wearing it. You can take a picture of the boardies and send them out to your Facebook friends as well so they can have a look at it and tell you whether they think it's a good idea. All right, OK, now we're going to show you the virtual mirror because this is, Let's Kim, this across. is what we were talking about just before, that you go yes. into a shop. Now, for instance, I've got this hat. All right, so let's see. If I put this on... OK, now we'll so just what, watch the screen. Morris, so what you're going to see is here the hat comes up on the screen. It's the hat that Anne-Marie's wearing. Yes. It's going to come up with a price here. And it's also going to come up with a recommendation of what goes really great with the hat. Okay. Now, this is a prototype magic mirror. There are only two of them in the world. I have to say that because I feel like I'm selling it. Yeah, no, no, good. But the magic mirror is actually about six months away from doing something else. It's going to have a camera in it. And the camera is actually going to take a picture of Anne-Marie. It's going to put her into the mirror. And this hat she won't need to wear anymore. If she holds it, it'll actually put it on top of her head. It'll bring those red shoes in we spoke about from Yes. Home. It'll bring in the garments that you've also chosen within the store. Wow. And it'll actually put all that on you without you having to physically do it. You'll be able to turn around, do a whole 360 degree view of yeah. yourself and ask the question which none of us ask, is my bum big enough? <laughs> and if you like it, you can then take it into the store, into the change room and put it on if you want or just buy it. And buy it through your electronic purse wow. without any money. Do so, it well. And I, jo I jokingly I said to Morris, Will technology be so simple that they'll tell us if your baby's done a, a wee or a poo in their nappy, will a sensor go off? And he said, actually, somebody has already, somebody already invented well, it. Thank Morris, you very much. How, how yeah. will it affect us just uh, normal grocery shopping? Will it affect that at all? Oh, it absolutely will. Grocery shopping's got a long way to go. What we're going to find is the grocery shopping, for instance, is starting at home. So our smart fridges, our smart cupboards will actually tell us what's there and what's not. When we go into the supermarket, it'll bring that list with us mm -hmm. electronically. It'll actually put that list onto the shopping trolley 
The shopping trolley will give us GPS coordinates for it, so it'll actually tell us where in the store those items are. It'll give us a bit of a film on it if we want, tell us what the ingredients are. If we have allergies, it'll say stay away from it, because yes. I know you don't, have, you don't like that. Maybe talk it'll about whether it's the... orangutan-friendly palm oil in the, pro... in the you know... Absolutely. If, if that's something you want to know, it will actually flag that for you. It'll take you through the store, and oh, then so at the can, end of the store... Oh, so you can actually put in your own personal kind of thing. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. And then it'll go with you, because your PDA, your telephone, or whatever you carry, like my Dick Tracy yes, phone yes, watch... Yes, this is a real Dick Tracy watch it's got movies on it telephone the works that's a fair income one yeah so my dick tracy watch for instance is something i would carry around with me it would know all my personal information it also has my wallet in it so when i walk out the checkout with the groceries we've just bought it says thanks morris for shopping and i keep walking wow, wow. there's so much there is really so much to see here look i'd love to get morris back uh, on some other occasion because he's a fountain of knowledge and he'll just take you through the whole shopping experience and i think in years to come i mean we've already got a whole lot of technology out there but it is going to get better isn't it oh it's going to get bigger and better fantastic so a big part of it everybody all right morris thank you so much My for being here this morning i've had a good look around all right listen on the 9am website we've got a whole lot of stuff there we've got things happening in townsville new south wales the ride for life which is at centennial Park for the cancer survivors and, and to get out there and raise money for the Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney. We've got a whole lot of stuff on our website, including probably some more information about Morris. He's unreal. There's just some really good things here. But in the meantime, everybody, we hope that you have a good weekend, whatever you're up to. But it's now time to have a quick look at what Mary Ann's got in store for you.